much energy I have. I'm really trying. <laughs> I put on just a little bit of mascara and lip gloss. And I changed my, like, half of my outfit. I'm still wearing my white, like, chilled shorts. Very relaxed fit. Very comfy, comfy. Very comfy, 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 comfy. Um, I was actually wearing a shirt that I've worn in previous videos. And, uh, a different ball cap and other little earrings but um this is difficult for me to change my outfit several times a day so i wanted to wear something different and yeah just have a different vibe going on for this video it's lo-fi and i've got nails though so yeah anyway so this is going to be a vlog slash shopping haul. <laughs> to be honest, today and yesterday have not been my better days. I've just been feeling really like, I don't know, down in the slums and discouraged and uh, just kind of depressed and just low spirits kind of a thing. So, um, but it's getting better. I just think a little bit of everything just got to me. A little bit of everything just got to me, you know? Sometimes it's just that way. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be okay, you know? We just have down moments and we get back up again. But, uh, I wanted to put on these, uh, press-on nails because the sounds of artificial nails are amazing, amazing. My hands literally feel so weak. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I need to do more ASMR. I know it takes me forever, like, because I always seem to be focusing on my TikTok account, I guess, and other social media, so I don't know. But this is the perfect hour because it is, you know, basically one o'clock in the morning. I love my sunflower. in, uh, let's see, would have been Destin, Florida, at the boardwalk, and that was like, that was for our one year anniversary, and then this pendant, necklace pendant, I got at Hobby Lobby, and I've had this like little piece of velvet ribbon for forever, and then I do have sunflower like little flowers that I usually wear in my hair and do this really cute hairdo. But I wanted to do the ball cap tonight because I don't know. It was fitting. And then I just have some like cute little bracelets. You know, I have the weirdest skin. Like if I like lean against something it makes an indention and stays there for quite a while. I think it's so funny. Okay, I literally hear vehicles right now. Where I live here in Mississippi, people seem to pride themselves in their noisy trucks. Amongst other things like not using their turn signals when they're going to turn and driving way too fast. Yeah, I've had my days of that. Um, there was a time where I just would drive way too fast. I don't know if I ever told you all that story. When I was um, coming here to Mississippi to visit my now husband and stepdaughter for the first time, this was, you know, back in January of 2021, um, I sped here and back and in this scary way because <laughs> it took forever to drive, you know, <clears throat> from Colorado to Mississippi. And I got a ticket. I got pulled over, obviously, because I got a ticket. And the officer said, because I think I was going like 65 in a 45. Yes, shame on me. I knew better. I did. I, you know, um, he said not only was I speeding, but someone called me in. Well, you know, after that was all said and done, I had to pull over and I bawled. I cried. Um, I should have paid for I should have paid for that ticket, but my husband said he would cover for me, and he did. Talk 
talk about grace, you guys. But yeah, I just, I mean, ever since then, the most I've gone over is like 10, and I didn't even do that for very long. The moral of the story is, you've got to be safe when you're driving, and I feel like I finally learned that, like, you just, you have to, because you don't want it to be a sorry thing for you or other people, you know? But anyway, um, I actually wrote down a little list. Chase of Plus Rosemary helps skin appear firm and plump. There's a light night driver. Ooh, I love this. What do you call this? Um, uh, not translucent. Um, yes, very vibrant. It's almost like rainbow colors, but like it's a reflective. I think you know what I mean. I'm sorry, but I can't seem to, I can't seem to explain 
was for dinner and chocolate chip cookies from scratch. They were so scrumptious, so good. And we ate at like 10.30, oops. But I slept in this morning. There goes the AC, sorry. Um, and Donovan was so sweet, he got the yard finished um, being mowed. He finished mowing it and it looks awesome.
part of me was like, oh, well, what if I go blonde, like black and blonde? But like, I don't know if I can do that life again. I don't know. We'll see. I candy Los Angeles. I don't know how to say this. Lux collection.
<clears throat> oh, it's lovely. I feel so royal. Oh, gotta, gotta smell this one too. Oh, it smells so divine. It smells like. Something a queen would wear. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of smells like, I don't, maybe a little bit of gold. <laughs> but also, like, it's a familiar smell that I can't quite place. Well, I'm gonna have to think on that one. But it's very pleasant. Alright. Moving on, moving on, because we still have a bunch of stuff. Um, Smells like watermelon and honeydew melon with a little bit of, I don't know, like it's kind of like a clean fruit smell, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm definitely loving the bottle. And then this one is Eternity for Women. Those brands like what is it? Like, um, Calvin Klein, um, Calvin Coors, maybe if I'm remembering right. And it's not as good as um, Faith Hill True that one discontinued years ago. Speaking of perfumes. up the spray mechanism so I need to be careful but um when I was at Kohl's like the other week or maybe it was a few days ago I don't remember because I why did I um I went into the city to um to use up my Kohl's cash and I did not get extra Kohl's cash because I was like I don't want to be tempted to keep going back they are so good at that and um anyway I asked the guy who can 
trash me out. I'm like, because I've been noticing that there's like hardly any perfume anymore. And of course, it's like really expensive. And it's, it just keeps like getting less and less. And he said, um, it's because, yeah, they're actually transitioning into getting Sephora to come in and they're doing it. So I don't know if that means Sephora has their own line of perfumes and fragrances. But I was so crushed. I was like, no. But uh, I, I don't know. And he said they're doing away with a jewelry counter, but they're keeping the other jewelry like little stands or whatever. I don't know. Like, why do they have to change? Why do they have to take away what's good? I don't understand. Like, I, I cannot live without my fragrances. And like, I usually do the body mist though. Um, sorry, I just. It's a gorgeous snake and I named it Maverick. You guys, this 
is the first snake I've gotten to hold since I've lived here in Mississippi and I've lived here for like a year and a half. And it was in our yard. Like the chances of it being in our bushes and he caught it and I got to hold it and I got to hang out with it and it was like so, it was just chilling in my hand and it seemed uncomfortable and everything and I just, I just loved Mr. Maverick so much. <laughs>
pot holders or hot pads. Um, I got some lavender, purple flowers. It looks fancy as lavender flowers in a pot. And the good old like pink egg checkered red and white. The pot holders that are the mitten kind seem to burn through. They don't seem to protect your hands as much. So.
all part of the outfit anyway. And uh, we, yeah, we went into some shops. We went into an indigenous shop called Native Treasures. Some of it's like, well, so anyway, the cool thing is a lot of that land and park and the shops are owned by um, indigenous people, Native Americans. And um, it was, it was a, it was a bittersweet experience for me. I literally got into tears because of just remembering all the hate I've gotten all the time on TikTok from the indigenous community as well as my own fellow community, you know, so there's a lot of like negative feelings in there, but also beauty and joy and um, just because of my upbringing and the rendezvous that I went to and the movies I've watched and knowing that I have part indigenous me as you have, you know, same old story, right? So anyway, I bought some indigenous earrings from an indigenous lady who makes them. Um, they're over there in my jewelry. I'll have to wear them sometime. I mean, I've worn them in public, but like, you know, in a video or something. They're beautiful. And um, I got some like, they're, it's like paperwork, kind of cardstock about like different things about tribes and indigenous culture, which I thought was really cool. Um, and some of the stuff there was like, what you call it, um, not name brand, but like, um, not commercial, I'm sorry, I can't think of the word, where it's like sold in a lot of stores, like it's this, it's like your typical average stuff that's not really indigenous, but kind of, you know what I mean, um, and the lady there was really cool, we just got to talk a little bit and share things, this I consider and call my Bridgerton bracelet, doesn't it look like it would be something the ladies on Bridgerton would wear? I'm in love. Um, and, um, yeah, so I just I bought a few things there. Spent more money than I wanted to, but it's okay. And we got, I got some sushi at this, um, Asian place. My husband got a hamburger from this other place. And we took some photos and stuff. My stomach just growled. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so much fun. And then when we went to Orange Beach, it was, it was lovely. It was awesome. These are for some of my jars on my new walls with my shadow boxes, like little candies. I can't wait to fill them up. But there's so much algae in the water. I was shocked. So for a time, I like, I just was sitting
chips, churro strips. They are to die for. They're very light. So you kind of do feel like you need to eat a lot of them to feel satisfied. But it's like churros, but like in a healthier form. And they're not sickening sweet, so that's nice too. I guess it's healthier. nice to ramble and vlog and just catch up on like two